welcome back to Baldur's Gate, the original saga, episode 88. Our party is stranded on a mysterious island with arrow-proof, magic-resistant wolf beasts. I think we'll be okay. Run, Bobo! Uh, guys? Uh, guys! Ah! This is not working out like I planned! They're so fast. Here we go. Another freaking setup. Jondal, I have brought you a feast. Magic resistance. Oh. oh my gosh, he is on her shit. Run, Zan! Oh my hell, he killed all those guys? He's dropping my Argrillins like they're nothing. There you go. There's a bunch of null elites. Fuck. Whew, holy shit, those guys are tough. Now the worst part, trying to sleep. Immo and magic resistance? What? Magic resistance five? She can resist cure? Well, that's no good. I didn't know magic resistance meant you could. Well, I guess you can resist magic, so even if it's cure. Well, that sucks. Alright, let's put our backs to the wall here. Maybe we can sleep. And these guys don't drop anything either. Come on, please. Yes. Oh. The awesome day has vanquished the brutal shitty night. Get out of here, you little shit. Not sure what these are. Some kind of uh, deforesting thing, I guess. There's a house here. Some kind of settlement. Oh, here's a boat. Okay, we can go into the side of this boat here. Can't even see it on the map. So we'll check out the house and then we'll go check out the boat. Make sure everybody's hasted. Draydill. I won't spend any more time talking to figments. Can it be after so long by Siloon's blade I am saved? Saved? Do you need assistance, sir? Assistance? I need to get off this cursed island! I will be glad to help you as soon as I can find my own way off the island. You don't have a boat? How in the nine hells did you get here? We came by boat, but we were shipwrecked by the seemingly all too frequent storms near this island. Perhaps you should tell me who you are. We flew in our pet crystal dragon, moron! Forgive me! I have not had guests for several centuries. I am Draedil, mage and recent convert to the Church of Siloon. I was the guide for Balderon's brave adventures to Anchorom and beyond. That was long ago. I have lived here for countless years, alone except for the occasional skirmishes with the diseased ones. They haven't attacked me for some time. They fear me, it seems. But the younger ones refuse to learn the lessons of their fathers. Periodically, I believe it to be every generation or so, they will attack and learn the lessons that those who came before them have already learned. I no longer have a taste for battle, but they are abominations not fit for this world. I suspect that they can even be cured of the condition. I write my theories in the diary that I keep. It seems to help me remain balanced amongst this horror. You mean to say that you sailed with Balderon? My employer would be very interested to meet you. He would like to know what happened. What is this disease you speak of? Is that what killed Balderon? Let's do this first one. We sailed to Far Anchorom, 200 strong. We returned with half of our brethren dead on the Golden Land's shores. But Balderon was ever the successful adventurer. He wrested a king's ransom in treasure for the cursed lords of the Anchorom before we were forced to the ship and expelled from their shores. 
The Cursed Lord's power haunts me still. Those monstrosities out there are the products of our travails in Anchorome. Twas a bitter wind that carried us homeward, and we reveled not in our newfound wealth. We came upon this island quite by accident, and stopped to renew our dwindling supply of fresh water. I led the landing party while Balderon set the remaining crew to repairing the sails and fishing for fresh food. My party was hardly out of earshot of the ship when the curse struck. The blood still stains my robes. Out with it, man. What happened? They changed, of course. It was so sudden we were speaking about what we intended to do when we arrived home. Gallen died first, his throat torn open by one of the changed men. I couldn't tell who killed him, of course, since they were unrecognizable in their changed forms. Dreidel, 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 I made you out of clay. I reached for the wand that I carried in my robes, but the abominations moved too quickly. Of the ten sailors in my party, seven were lycanthropes. We had no chance. Two of them leaped at me even while the others feasted on the bodies of my other sailors. I cast lightning with my wand and killed one of the shapeshifters. I also killed everybody else on my entire team since lightning is fucking brutal to use. Sorry. The other wolf hit me with great force. I was thrown back against a tree and I knew no more. I woke in the dark several hours later. At first I believed I was dead, but when I tried to rise, the pain in my hell dispelled that myth. There was blood everywhere. So much blood. The body of the lycanthrope I had killed lay several feet away, draped over Gallon's ravaged corpse. I rushed at the sight of my friend, so cruelly killed. I cast one of the few spells I had, invisibility, wagering that if a lycanthrope caught scent of me, they would believe that they were smelling nothing more than a corpse. I crawled painfully back to the beach. The ship was half sunk in the surf, a huge hole in her side as if a giant had punched through her in a rage. There was a smoldering fire on the deck and in that sickly light I could see the bodies of the ship's crew, gutted and hung in the rigging like so much meat, sickened and in despair. I crawled back into the woods. Ew, growls. Dawn arrived and I came upon this ancient village. This hut was sunk in the sandy soil and I crawled inside to hide and barred the way behind me with my final spell. After a short and fretful sleep I managed to find where the hut had broken through into this cave. To this point I have survived on this freshwater stream and a peculiar sightless fish that lives in the calm pools below. Journal updated. In these 500 years I have found some favor with Saloon. 500 years? She has granted me a few spells and wards to better protect my precarious home. I haven't left these caves for many years, and I haven't the power to defend myself for long. Mayhaps you could remedy that. I would be glad to help. If you help us fight the lycanthropes, we'll help you. I can do little to help you against the more powerful ones. However, this wolfsbane charm will make the younger ones wary of even attacking you. In return for this assistance, I must ask a favor of you. Be gone, good sir. I am yours to command. Truly, I am in your debt. The lycanthrope's lair is in Balderon's ship. My spellbook lies within. With it, I am a powerful mage. Without it, I am the pauper that stands before you now. These few wards I cast are gifts of pity from Saloon. I have turned to the goddess in my fear and solitude. Perhaps my lengthy imprisonment is but a penance, so that I might become worthy of the goddess. But I digress. With my spellbook retrieved, I may be able to recover a way off this island. If you go to destroy the lycanthrope's lair, I would ask that you find my book. No problem. Where is the book in the ship? It's in a chest in my cabin. The cabin is next to Balderon's cabin on the level just below the decks. Please hurry back with it. This amulet is all that I can offer you as protection against the lycanthropes. Should you need to rest, I hope that my humble abode will serve you well. Nice, we got a place to sleep now without getting murdered. The party gained an item. Very cool. Got to throw a save in there. Wolfsbane charm. A silver amulet containing powdered wolfsbane. Plus two bonus versus lycanthropes. Plus two bonus versus lycanthropes for Thacko and damage. Nice. Who should we give it to? Let's give it to Jahira. She's pretty much a badass anyways. So that just makes her stronger. Awesome. Belladonna flowers, an odd smelling flower, though very pretty. Staff mace. This clerical weapon appears to be a normal wooden staff of the type used when trekking in the wilderness. 
though it gives off a very faint aura of alteration magic. Upon identification of the command word, the staff takes on the attributes of a mace, which allows it to be wielded with one hand. Cool. Holy cloak! It's a holy artifact of the inhabitants. Okay, this is uh, another quest. An item with more symbolic value than actual enchantments. Okay, is there anything else here in the house that we can take? And uh, where does this go? It's just part of his house as well. Oh. What's this? The Recipes and Ruminations of One Dreadil of Teether. A lovely bun cake brightens everyone's day. <laughs> The recipes herein are mine own imagining, and thus ingredients are subject to change as per my whim. Oh, there's the belladonna. Belladonna bun cake, a simple little dish for a rainy afternoon. What is this? Curative ingredients for the dispelling of lycanthropy. Mother's topical salve is a rather large failure. Research further with the Following in mind, the creatures on this isle are unusual beyond their splitting into two factions. Theirs is an odd curse, one that defies the traditional remedies, such as the unfortunately dangerous muffins. Further notes to myself, future offerings of peace to either of the woven clans should not take the form of muffins of any sort. <laughs> I guess he tried offering them muffins and it uh, didn't work. Okay, we're all healed up. And rested. Save it. And let's head over to the ship. There are so many places I would rather be. All right, here we go. Into the belly of the beast. Holy shit. That was about the most useless cutscene I've ever seen. They're like, here is the boat that you just entered. I feel like this is DLC, you know, part of the expansion pack, so they had to be like, look, we're spending time making graphics, so it's not just programming and adding new worlds. See, there's cutscenes. Anyways, we're surrounded by wolves. Dread wolves, to be exact. Will they uh, listen to reason? Probably not. We still hasted? Yes, we are. Whoa. Some crazy ass battle music right there. Alright, Zan, you're gonna need to call up some stuff now. Tight quarters is brutal fighting in. Hopefully with Jahira's bonuses to the uh, werewolves, we can take some of these out. They're called wolf wares. I'm just now noticing that. Wow. Awesome. Hold it off. That was an ambush if I've ever seen one. Alright, I'm gonna risk sleeping. You may not rest here. Either find an inn or rest outside. Alright. Bro, well, fuck you very much. I won't rest at all then. Maybe we'll just take Bubble forward, stealthing him as we go. Oh, shit balls! Good job checking for traps there. <laughs> uh, save versus spell 18. He would have taken more damage. Are we okay? 
Do we survive that? Just barely. Wolves can't lay traps. These are just darts. No need for those. Wand of magic missiles always comes in handy. And some money. As you direct. Okay, so we have to go up the stairs. Where there inevitably will be another huge battle. And my guys are wounded, so I think I have to go outside and rest. Okay, rested. Healed and rested. As you direct. Haste. And back up the stairs. Like I thought. Another battle. Monsters. There goes the Emma one. Lost your hero. Damn, these guys are strong. Oh my gosh. Don't mind me. Do, 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 do. Looks like there's another way up. Whoa! Uh oh. <laughs> In the shadows failed. Dreidel, 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 I made you out of clay. Oh, there goes him one. You know, maybe I should just leave Emma one and Boa behind. They're not hacking this tight quarter shit. Okay, we're leaving Emma one and Boa behind. Sorry, guys. This is some tight quarter Navy SEAL shit. Khalid, attack that guy. Jantus, attack that guy. Jahira, deck that guy. Zan, give me some monsters, buddy. I feel we're doing better. Come on, guys. Alright, last guy. It's a vampiric wolf. It is one strong mother. We did it. Yay. Alright, Bobo, Emlyn, you can come up now. Get your asses up here. What you want? I want you to look for traps. I'm gone. Some bracers, which we probably already have. Gauntlets of binding. The bracers appear to be bracers of specialization, but when donned, bind the wearer's wrists together. Casting failure 75%. Thacko plus 5 penalty. Oh, that was so weird. Damage minus 5 penalty. Oh, there's another trap. Awesome. And that's locked. I think that's it. We can go up one more time though. Some kind of badass looking dagger and some gold. Oh, Werebane. This is badass. This plus one dagger acts as a plus four dagger versus lycanthropes. 1d4 plus four versus lycanthropes. Nice. Shing. I call it Werebane. Alright guys, we're going to leave it there. Episode 89 will finish off this boat. Not sure how large it is. Maybe there's only one more area. But we'll leave it for next week. Thanks for watching, guys. You've been hanging out with Thunder Drummer, the man who has never, ever made a Minecraft video. Have a good one.